So go to USB two camera. Oh, MS. We are correct. I think it is closed this year. No. Can we make? Actually, I was trying to play the software, but I couldn't find the software. <laughs> I got a Very nice, thank you. Would you like to sing again? We didn't record it somewhere other. Okay. But it was very nice. And Atharva Prabhu got so much energy today. He's fired up. He's going to pay full attention in the class. It's recording or, or not yet? Yeah, yes, it's it was recording. recording. Yeah. Okay, so let us begin. Yeah. Yeah. Later, later, doing later. That's fine. Okay, let us begin our um, gratitude. Who is expressing today? Can you take the microphone? Okay, because online they're listening. Also, it's recording for the future. Mm -hmm. You okay? You need a table. So today, louder. London. Yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, I just reached New York. And my plan was to stay in New York for the whole summer, and so I just reached the temple. And just just got there. I was in a lot of room, my temple room. I did my business there, and I was checking here. And I was praying for all, but how I can serve? I'm here, what I can do. And if I were to you know, to stay there, I was just more interested in that. And so. As I'm sitting there chanting, if I go about it's just it's empty a couple of around noon time. Um and she's trying to bring in the bird and it's not there And so I hear my phone ring, and you hear my phone volume is not on. <laughs> it's just always off. And I was trying to think of how I go back to my phone very time. And for some reason I was like, okay, let me go and answer my phone instead of this person she's calling me. And she said that we're having this on site at the Shastri. So if you would like to come and you know, please be welcome and then invite me to find this place. And I'm you know, very grateful for her to be an instrument where the Shastri has been invited to host and make the fans of the Shastri for hosting this beautiful work of Shastri course here. So very indulgent and very grateful for this. Wonderful. Haribo. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else would like to say anything? 
how is your experience from yesterday? Because today I may attack you, so before you attack, I want to see how strong you are. No? How was yesterday's session? I want to hear just. It was nice. That's good. But I need a little more than how, why it is nice. Ma Mother Alwani. You mean uh, literary like to grab Krishna Prem in this life or what is migraine means? <laughs> no, that can be physical, that can be subtle, that can be also the soul. You mean the physical? <laughs> okay. Any other? Jagannath Prabhu. Here. Because I need to correct myself also. If something is not delivered properly, I have to learn how to cater. Prabhupada says something you all should remember. He says when one is ready to present absolute truth to others, they should always think how to present in such a manner that the audience will respond positively. So, Sukhdev Goswami, when he when Sukhdev Goswami presented Bhagavatam, you all know who was in the audience. Yes, there are thousands and thousands of Gyani, Jogi, all kinds of Karmis, but there are specific few exalted. His guru, his father, Bayasdev was there. His guru's guru, Narad Muni, was there. Parathar Muni, they are all great sages. They were in the audience. Just imagine, you are giving class. Prabhupada is there. Bhakti Siddham, Saraswati Thakur will be there. Bhakti Vinod Thakur will be there. What you will be thinking? You just think. But Sukhdev Goswami presented in such a way, not by repeating as it is. It's interesting. If you have 113, in Sukh, um, no, not Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, 113. Um, if you have a, uh, what do you call it? iPhone, better ways. Uh, not iPhone, cell phone, better ways. You look at 1.1.3. See what Prabhupada says. Nigama Kalpataru Galitam Phalam. But look at in the purport, one section it says, Sukha means parrot. And then it, in that section, I'm paraphrasing. That Sukhdev Goswami did not just repeat what he heard as it is, which is good. But Prabhupada says he formalized in such a way and delivered that other God affected. So it is not just repeating, but it expressing realization, how we applied in our life. And when you actually, you found it, Prabhu? Yeah. Okay, you have the microphone? Where's the microphone? Yes, Praladam in the book. Yeah. Okay, give to Mother Ramya. In Sanskrit, the parrot is also known as Sukha. Mm. When a ripened fruit is cut by the red beaks of such birds, its sweet flavor is enhanced. The very fruit which is mature and ripe in knowledge is spoken to the lips of Sri Rasukhdev Goswami, who is compared to the parrot not for his ability to recite Bhagavad Go oh, slowly, that line again. The, slowly. The very fruit which is mature and ripe in knowledge is spoken to the lips of Sri Rasukhdev Goswami, 
who is compared to the parrot not for his ability to recite the Bhagavatam exactly as he heard it from his learned father, but for his ability to present the work in a manner that would appeal to all classes of men. Very good. Everybody heard it? So, we, yes, we should repeat what we heard, but you have to also make, cater the audience how they can take it. Before Sukhdev Goswami spoke Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam was spoken by Narad Muni, spoken by different audience in different places, but never ever understood that everybody can take Bhagavatam. Now you wonder why we distribute Bhagavatam. It is supposed to be for Paramahamsas, means liberated, advanced soul. But Sukhdev Goswami made it to a level where you will get the highest goal, Krishna Prem, but anybody, even from the street, bum, or how they, I don't know how you say, homeless or something, they can even get Krishna Prem just by reading and becoming devotee. It's such a wonderful. So we should repeat. It's not that we don't, but we also have to cater that what people need. Can you please remember this? Whenever you preach, look at the audience, three things. Their needs. You have to have a, some capacity that what they need, you know, to understand what they need. And their interest. What are they interested? When they are interested for to play, you know, or to have a uh, fun, you can cater Krishna consciousness according to that. You don't have to say, give up everything, what they are doing right now. You will not be invited next time. I mean, maybe I don't want to say that. But generally, but Prabhupada was genius. That's why I mentioned many, many pastimes. When this boy came, young Western boy, he was a gang leader of drug. Uh, because I met him once. And uh, he was very upset with Krishna consciousness uh, movement. He doesn't know what it is, the first thing in the West. But he was curious because his main uh, drug distributor, you know, they take drug, they also make money on it. A big. All, most of them, big guys, they left him. And they went and they became Hare Krishna. He said, what is Hare Krishna? I don't know. Well, tell them this is better drug. He said, no, they are not taking drug. What they are taking? They are becoming lover of God. And he could not put together <laughs> how you become lover of God higher than drug. So then he personally came. So one, one of the follower who became a disciple, he told Prabhupada, gave him information. But Prabhupada, our drug gang leader, is here, he's very angry that why we left and we don't go back. So he said, Prabhupada said, yes, sure, you bring him. He said, but Prabhupada, I have to tell you, he doesn't know anything but LSD. I don't know if everybody, everybody familiar with LSD? I'm not. I know how it looks in the Googles, but that's all I know. I never took it or I don't know. I'm ignorant in that. But that, that guy knows and his disciple who became Prabhupada's disciple now, he said, that's all he know, L LSD. So he comes, it's kind of a little challenging mood. So what is this Hare Krishna ultimate happiness? What, what they will get in spiritual world? What is that happiness? And Prabhupada said, it is like an ocean of LSD. Ocean of LSD. He never thought about it, ocean of LSD. He said, I want to join. So good. And then he joined. Actually started chanting and he gave up drug. So now if you think like, no Shastra ever said spiritual world is ocean of LSD. You follow? But what is the purpose? What is the purpose of the Shastra? What is the purpose of Bedra? To bring the soul, revive their dormant love and bring back. Now, if Prabhupada would say, well, there is a God, he may be not pay attention. When, say, when Prabhupada said, the spiritual happiness is like an ocean of LSD, guess what? He got 100% attention of this guy. He said, ocean of LSD, I'm going to join. 
And he joined. Whole life he stayed Bhakta and he left this world. Krishna, Krishna is very happy. So Prabhupada knew how to talk, who to talk, when to attract them to Krishna consciousness. You follow? So we should speak the truth, but in a manner that you, your purpose is done. Does that make sense? Okay, good. Now, if, if it is possible, is done. It is allowing, but it is allowing from this point onwards, it's like it told you, which is not helpful for us. Uh -huh. so we may Am I moving and is that or? Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, I think maximum we can, we can do, but it allows us to, allows us to focus further. But it is not going beyond. So this is the so either we have to put the camera back. Okay, maybe you can play with that. Let's see. So now I have to go back. Um, can I close that. this? Here. So first we have to set up here, and then that it will automatically take. Oh, that's better. Getting better. If you somebody can tie it up. Yes, yes. Okay, I have not done. Um, oh. Actually, first we need to set up using that application. Okay. And then it will take it. Okay. Jagannath Prabhu, would you like to help Purnachal Prabhu? Wow. I don't know if you have a sign. The goal is to have some stand here like this. The camera will be like this. Yeah. Either a stand or a, a camera stand is, uh, sorry, the speaker stand is there. Inside speaker stand. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Ram Ram Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 It's fun. Yes. I Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna
I know, I know. Yeah, but I'm going to give you. No, I will, I will move this table here. So we will all move. So we'll come. But uh, we just go behind, 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 behind yeah. our own. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Krishna 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 Krishna
Keeps to us. So we are going to begin with Mangala Charan. Om Ayana Timirandasa Genanjana Salakaya Chachurun Militam Jena Tashmai Sri Guru Once again, who, who wrote this first? Very, very good. Thank you. I just want to at least test it whether. Thank you. So when you every because every temple you go, you'll see this mantra. And if you're aware who sang, when, why, you will start feeling. It's a very subtle, very subtle. Like how no, you heard this before I say. When you see the ice cream, you don't see the flavor. You don't experience the flavor. You have some idea. But when you talk to your tongue, I don't know if Jagannath Prabhu ever spoke to his tongue, say, explain me about the ice cream. Tongue say, I have no flavor of ice cream. I don't know. But their meeting point, what is that meeting point? It's set up by Krishna actually to the demigod called Pracheta. Pracheta demigod, he actually ignites this experience that you have. So when we are aware of Jantram, Mantram, Tantram 3, our attitude and who is the personified uh, personality that we are addressing. And when your attitude, service attitude and the personality's connection unites. But if you are not aware, it don't happen. I was stupid. I put ice cream on my head just to see if I feel any taste. There was no taste. I put it on my don't do it, but I already did it, but you can do it if you want to. But it's only a particular part of the tongue has to connect in order to experience. This is reality. This is science. You follow? Same thing, Jantram, the person whom we are praying, we should be aware. Not just saying, Ramam, Vishnu, Bada, No, Prabhupada is a person. He himself composed that, his Pranam Mantra. When we are aware of it and we being our submission, I want to serve you, Prabhupada. I will, I'm your, I want to be empowered by you so I can please you to service. This will definitely give you experience. Definitely. But you have to keep, keep it in contact. Ice cream is just physical, but these prayers are subtle. So today, maybe next session, we'll talk about how many types of heart. Oh, I put posted in my WhatsApp group. Maybe I didn't do it here. Uh, uh, Phil, uh, can you, uh, how do you say, forward to this group from my uh, WhatsApp group? It's something about. So next session we'll discuss what is hard and because yesterday, yeah, yesterday we talked about. Controlling the six urges. Then six obstacle will take you down or away from Krishna consciousness. That's not the reason you have come. But you have to know your enemy. Enemy or obstacle or challenges. And when you are aware of these six Attahara, Prayasa, Prajalpa, Niyamagra. Even if you don't know the Sanskrit, at least be aware of the English. Prajalpa, Niyamagra. Jana, Sangascha, Lolancha, Saravir, Bhakti. Binashruti. Binashruti means it will destroy. It will destroy my Bhakti. I will become Karmi. I was Karmi. Now I'll go back. It's called detour or something like that. No, you don't want that. But you have to be aware. If you are not aware, how you will guard it? And then we also discuss, we went to three, right? Three are, will push you to increasing or, or you can say conviction or convincing 
that yes, you are progressing and tangible experience you will feel within you. So you have to be aware. Otherwise, Bhakti Shastra certificate is good, but experience is eternal. Certificate will finish as soon as you get it. But this experience is what we need. It's very important. So I'm just begging all of you. You all are probably more advanced than me. But I'm just repeating. I'm doing my own. So today I'm going to discuss this. Where the obstacle within you are actually lingering. So first session I'm going to just say. I'm sorry I didn't change the head. Uh, anyway, just I'll change it later. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I'm sure you all are familiar with this. No? In chapter 6, Buddhintu Saradin Bhiddi, these verses in the Parvot Prabhupada put it and somebody did the drawing. I actually don't remember. I can ask Krishna Buddhintu. And then I found this in the Googles. They are more dramatic drawing. That who is the chariot driver? This is, this is your body. We are talking about nectar of instruction here, not outside in the land or in your home. We are talking about here. When you say bacho bego, bacho bego, arches, bego means pressuring, pushing, pushing. Bacho means where? Right here, what is coming out. This word, I can make her as a friend or I can make her as an enemy. The word we use creates our own world. I can create you as a friend or I can create you as a... I don't want to see them in the air. But you follow? This is right here. It's so powerful. So if you are not conscious, bacho vega manasa, then bacho vega, then there is a mind. Then bacho vega manasa, krodha. These three are in a subtle right here. Then the tongue, belly and genital. This is one line. This is another three. So there's a two sets. Bacho vega, manasya, kruda vega. Where is mind? So because this is all are formulated in the mind. So I'm just going to talk a few minutes. Then we'll go to the today's, um, what is it? Three, no, four, five, six. So three session, three sloka. Is that okay? Okay. With this uh, system, I cannot go too far, but I'll just leave it like this. And we'll, uh, I appreciate Purna Chandra Prabhu for two things. He gave me a special medicine today. You can buy it. It's not something. Uh, and I saw that, how do you say, dreams or uh, Probi dreams? probiotic, but what is it? Dreams, okay. Probiotic dreams. I mean, you can find it everywhere. But it was so much effective. I was a little tired. This physical body with the physical medicine, you don't take subtle medicine. But you know, uh, they call placebo. Everybody heard that word? That the, you have a little faith or belief. Dr. Gay, you have no idea what is in that medicine. But you believe the doctor medicine is going to cure you. And that is actually more than 50%. That faith on the doctor that he, whatever he gave, I don't think anybody researched that medicine, let me crash it, put it in a microscope. No, you just put it in the mouth. Believe that doctor gave, he knows what he's doing. I'm going to take it and it works. But how does it work? But some idea is there that 50% is your strong pain. So this is a fact. Even sometimes they said, uh, Ayurveda, that one doctor gave a, just a simple water. And he told the patient, don't worry, take this medicine. It will cure. He took the water. He could buy from his, I mean, he could get from his own room. But literally, he got cured. So they say, how was it? How is that cure took place? Because the body has a healing propensity. Body has a defensive mechanism. You follow? You see snake, you get like this. Stop walking. Because there is a snake. Nobody told you. Your body like reacts. Because body has, mind also has, but you have to be familiar. Then you can direct your mind. Physical body, you do Hatha Yoga, physical exercise or Hatha Yoga, breathing, no, not breathing, 
physical exercise. Why? Because between the subtle body and the physical body, there is another body. What is that called? Vital body. The air body. The life air that prana carries you, so 2.17 Prabhu. 2.17 in Bhagavad Gita, you see a Prabhupada writes in the purport, he gives this verse. Esha Anuratma Chetasa Viditetva. Just been prani panchada sandivis. Prana, where are you, Mother Amrita? Where are you? She's not thinking, wow, nobody <laughs> asked me <Yeah>. that. <laughs> Here. Listening to me. Very good. Is that a physical body? Subtle body? Physically you are not here? Subtle? Both are there. That verse will tell you, Esha Anuratma Chetusha Bhiritipo. Actually, Amrita, Mother Amrita is floating in this body. Can you read? In the purport, there is one verse. Esha Anuratma Chetusha Bhiritipo. Read it. She is very quick. Go ahead, Mother. So the servants have atomic inside and can be perceived by the perfect intelligence. Yes. The atomic soul is floating in five kinds of air. Prana, apana, jnana, samana, and nirvana. Okay, that's good enough. So where are you, Mother Amrita? Now answer it according to Prabhupada's Floating. Floating. <laughs> floating where? In the lab. No, you're floating in the body. You are not actually body, you are not at fix in the body. You can in and out, but that is not up to you. Katharagya Mopicha, and I don't go that details. The who controls this, this demarcation, how long this you will be floating within this body is not up to you. It is by the super soul. 14 chapter. Katharagya Mopicha Ambiti, Sarva Khetri Subharato. I mean every field, uh, body, and I'm controlling this. So here, we just understood that you are floating in this body and when you are floating, the life air has a other nine airs, total ten air. Five air, five air are very important. Prano, apano, Vyano, Udano, Samana. And each air has a function. Like you go to pass stool or urine, you're not passing stool. This air is pressuring you. So you feel to go to bathroom. You follow? This is very scientific. It's not like anything abstract or like believable. It's a, it's a fact. Fact. You go under water, you hold the breath. As long as you can hold, you can be under water. You cannot hold, you will be kicked out. You will force yourself to be out. You running, running. You're like, you have to come to normalcy. That's called samana. Prana, apana, payana, udana, samana. These are all have a function. There are five types of air. But one air, when you came to this material world, that air is carrying you. So that air is the middle between the physical body and the subtle body. Not the soul air. Subtle body to the soul. And then physical body has to pass through this air body which is called ghost body, in case if you Bhuta, Preta, Pishacha, you heard those names. It's in our scriptures. There are goblins, all kinds of creatures. And they are in this between. So you don't see where the ghost is because they have this air body. Do you see the air, Jagannath Prabhu? But you are breathing. You believe there is air. You see the air by the movement of the physical. When the storm comes, how do you know it is storm? Because the wind making the trees are growing, you know, things are moving. But you don't see the air. But you feel that, yes, because everything is moving, even you feel in your body. So this is practical science. Mind is not connected to the physical world without air body. Is that clear, everybody? Mind or subtle body is connecting to the physical body. I'm moving my hand. You see, am I moving my hand? Yeah. No. I am desiring, initiating cause. Indra, a demigod, he is 
sanctioned by Krishna to help me. But this goes so quick, like a computer. You put the land, or uh, no, Veda Foundation, pops. Wow, how did it come so quick? Because it's set like this. But if Purnachanda Prabhu did not put this Veda Foundation website, you put million times nothing pops. Is it clear, everybody? So similarly, Krishna actually set up all these 33 demigods. There, there is no 33 million. 33. But they have an assistant, 10 million each. And then they have an assistant, 100,000 each, which is make 33 million. But 33 are very easy. Who controls this body? Not all 33. 14. 10 Kento, 14 chapter... Uh, 10 Kanto 14 chapter, I believe it's 31 or 30. Oh, Vaikyam, Oh, Vaikyam, Nanda Gopa Prajastinam. Next verse you will see that uh, Brahmaji is saying, we are 11. He said 11, but Vishwana Chikuti Thakur says he actually is 14. It's not that Brahmaji lied or anything. Brahmaji knows better, but Vishwana Chikuti Thakur gives more subtle. Jai Sisi Gornitai Bhagavan Ki Jaya. I'm sorry, I'm going to off subject because otherwise we cannot connect it. How to control anger, how to control mind, how to... We have to be a little aware that how this whole mechanism, physical mechanism, subtle mechanism working, at least brief little. So, anybody found it? Yes. Oh, you found it? Yes. Go ahead. Give the, the translation is, yet, even though the extent of... Yet, even though the extent of the good fortune of these attempts of Vrindavan is inconceivable, we 11 residing deities of the various senses headed by Lord Siva are also most fortunate. Because the senses of these devotees of Vrindavan are the cups to which we repeatedly drink the bacterium, intoxicating the village of honey of the world. That's true. Now, in one sense, it's not true. The demigod has no demigod has no power to actually control the Brajavasi's body because they are eternal associate. But Brahmaji is correct from his anger. You follow? He is not correct according to our Acharya's anger. He is correct because right now, um, even you to look at me, Mother Amrita, Sun God has to allow you. Well, no, let's put it this way. Sun God actually making it happen. But you taking the credit, I'm seeing you. Why you say I don't see? Actually, it's a lie. But I won't say you're a liar. Because <laughs> you are initiating cause. Krishna is sanctioning cause. We have an efficient cause, ingredient cause, and then uh, facilitation. So we don't have to focus all five, but at least three. Say it, please, please repeat after me. I, the soul, is initiating cause. Whatever is happening or happened, you are responsible. Nobody influence, nobody hurt you. You are responsible. How is it responsible? I touch fire. I got burned. Fire burned me. Who is responsible here? I. No, but fire burn. You are not understanding me. No, correct me. Say, no, Prabhu. Actually, you are responsible. You touch the fire. It's not the fault of fire. I was just to It make sense? Yeah. But we blame others. That guy yelled me. That guy cut me off while I was driving. You saw that? That guy cut me off while I was driving. It's his fault. We should yell. You know, they show a finger, all kinds of stuff. You know, uh, <laughs> Generally, huh? they use the gun and kill somebody. Krishna, Krishna. Possible. Yeah, I know. Because they don't know that they are forced to see what they are desiring. Only thing you have in this life right now is the desire, initiating cause. You want to go back home? You talk to yourself. I want to go back home. I want to go back home. Talk to yourself and convince. Krishna is the sanctioning God. Lord, please repeat up to me. Lord Krishna, in my heart, as a super soul, is the sanctioning cause. 
and then okay, one more. Maya, Maya. through demigods of the facilitation or facilitating cause. So whatever it is now, how do we put together? So I see uh, Praladananda Prabhu has a white shirt. If I have a red glasses, will I see the white shirt? So I see red shirt he has. And you say, no, it's white shirt. You are right or I'm right? Really, you are having different benefits. Ah, very good. This is good. Give her a little. <laughs> oh, they didn't hear it. Yeah. You have to uh, say it again. You can keep on the microphone on and just. Is that okay? Battery is good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am seeing Praladananda Prabhu has a white shirt. Uh, sorry, red shirt. Because I have a red glasses. What shirt, what color of his shirt? Right. Well, Praladananda Prabhu is now asking who is right, who is wrong. Sure is right because there's no lenses in the way. So in that. your eyes? Yeah. In front of, okay. So, am I right or wrong? You're, You're trying to be nice to wrong. me. You don't have to be nice. Just be honest. Yeah, it's not correct. Not as it's it. not right. You're saying I'm a liar. Yeah. It's right for you and where your perception, but it's not correct as it is. Very good. Very good. This is what I wanted to do. So, she's correct. I have red glasses. I see red. I am right according to my perception. Everybody is right according to their perception because we have perspective. It's not wrong, but try to see from their perspective when you preach or talk or even to yourself. Why I'm feeling like this? Why I'm not advancing? Because I have this impression from previous life. Oh, that's not good. But Prabhupada's impression is higher. So let me add up this. You follow? You can literally like sort through. And you will start developing a different attitude, different vision, different... When Prabhupada said, devotee means they communicate with others according to attitude. And I was thinking, what do you mean? How do I know attitude? Means you have to be aware of the person you're talking. Be aware a little bit. Or you can... You know, like Vaishwati Prabhu is so kind. He said, make sure you always leave a good impression at the end. Nobody would have a disturbed mind in communication if they would leave a good impression. But good impression will not come automatically. You have to create within you. What can I say that next time I see, we will feel happy to see each other. It makes sense? It, but you have to create this. But if you keep on practicing, and I was thinking like, okay, Prabhupada's vision is very high. I want to adapt it. The desire first. Then you pray. Seven things you go through, you will get. Yeah? Maybe end of the session, I'll, I'll give that. But at least some idea. I want to go back to this. Because I have one hour to finish at least one slogan. <laughs> So today, just want to talk very shortcut. Yes, Prabhu. Sorry, but this is one of the. You want to uh, give the mic? It's okay. You can spend uh, two more minutes. It is one of the one of the impression which was bothering me for a while. Mm -hmm. and, um, so we always uh, see and hear that. The transcendental sound vibration cleans our senses. And so, how that happens, mechanically, if you want to go detail and understand, it, as you explain about the senses, how particularly on making protein, there we go, help in facilitating. But then, sound vibration, we are just hearing the sound vibration and how it purifies us. Itself is like a long discussion. This is a very beautiful question, but really, I, I appreciate that. A very beautiful question. 
So what I'll do, I'll throw here their little little in full session. Is that okay? Please session. Otherwise, I, I don't think I'll touch, I'll be able to touch. By nine o'clock, we'll be hungry and we didn't even start that slow. Okay, so I'll spread it out. Is that okay? Yes, yes. Okay, so let's go to this five layer we have. First is physical. We must do some exercise, physical exercise, like walking or whatever you do, something you do to harmonize between the physical body with the physical world. You have to, you are in the physical world. So you have to harmonize. Then you realize you have a vital body and vital body, make sure you breathe. Pay a little attention sometimes, it's good. Just breathing. You know who breathes? <laughs> Can you show me anybody breathes like this live long? I did some research. Dog, cat, they all live 15 years, 20 max. They all dead. 12 years, 10 years, that's it. Someone breathe like this. Do you know who breathes like that long? Louder. Joke is I don't know, but something you have access. I mean, I'm trying to create like something you can relate. Elephant, turtle. Yeah, in Mayapur I grew up with the elephant. I mean, in Mayapur still today they have elephant. In New Brindavan they had elephant. You've been to New Brindle. Yeah. They used to have elephant. They don't have anything. No, I oh, I was not looking when I worked for seven days, just the classes, seminar. I mean, I never went uh, they they used to have a big elephant. Yeah, I think they just don't have a okay. statue of the um, they have a turtle uh, between this and Alachua. It's called Bikanopi. They have a whole zoo of turtle. They live 100 years or more. You know why? They breathe. What goes on? If you can do something they don't do, you can live even longer. Healthy. You breathe, like for example, 30 seconds. Try it, just for a moment. Try it. But sit properly in order to breathe. Okay, let me tell you first. 30 seconds, you breathe in. You know baby breathing? Do you know baby breathing? If you, are, if you didn't have a baby, you don't know. If your mother, you do. Their stomach goes where when they breathe in? Pops. Yeah. You go. She will, she at least, because she has a baby. I also had a baby, but when we had a baby like that, we don't remember. You'll see baby breathe. They're like stomach, whole body like pops. When they breathe out, the whole thing goes out. Try to breathe like this always. It's best. You'll never get chubby or well, I don't go to that out. But it's very healthy. Baby's not thinking, oh, am I breathing You're healthy? No, they just breathe normal. This is called normal. They're like stomach ups. Then the disease, 50% of the disease inside goes out. If you breathe like this, try to breathe like a whole body. Breathe in, stomach pops. Don't worry what people think. I have a big stomach. Nothing. Just like, really, I mean, I mean it. So breathe 30 seconds in. Hold it if you can for double. One minute. I mean, it depends. You can hold, okay, if you're breathing 15, hold 30 seconds, double. And then breathe out. It is a science, but you do five minutes a day, it will grow slowly, slowly. That's why yogis, they sit in the mountain, but they don't get sick. You ever wonder why they don't get sick? No doctor goes to give them medicine because they have a natural way of healing. Natural way of healing. It's true. You go to Radha Kun, the turtle, 
they are there forever. They say, how is this? Nobody gives medicine or anything. Because they breathe like this. They breathe out. They hold on to it for a moment. Then they breathe in, holding it. Then they breathe out. Now, Prabhupada is so merciful. He says, another thing you can do. No, you must do. Not you can do. Prabhupada says, in second canto, in Bhagavatam, is expressing in second canto there is three places universal form is discussed first six and ten total ten chapter and three places uh, universal form to purify the intelligence and the body there was very much focus universal form over there it says Prabhupada in the parkour he said in our kirtan when we dance and chant don't just sing also try to dance it is Mahaprabhu's instruction. Nacho Gao, I forgot the number, but you can put it in a better way. Nacho Gao, Bhakta Sange, Kara Sanketan, Krishna Nami Upadeshi Taro Sarvajan. Entire instruction of Mahaprabhu in this verse. Nacho Gao, Nacho means dance, Gao means sing. Bhakta Sange with the devotee. And Prabhupada writes very nicely in the parable. He says, This is the best pranayam. Now you have to be aware what is pranayam, what is talking, this breathing exercise. He says the yogi doesn't know this. If we actually dance and chant, you don't have to practice on breathing so much. But make sure when you come to temple, you dance and chant or in your room, somewhere, every day you dance and chant. Why not? This is very good exercise for spiritually, also physically. This is so wonderful. He found the words, Nacho Gao Bhakta Sangi. Nacho Gao Bhakta Sangi Kara Sankirtana. Krishna Nam Upadesi Tara Sarvati. Translation? By the child. Nacho Gao Bhakta Sangi Kara Sankirtana. Krishna Nam Upadesi Tara Sarvati. By the child, continue dancing, chanting, and performing some kirtana in association with devotees. Furthermore, go out and teach the value of chanting Krishna Nam. For by this process, you will be able to deliver all for the soul. Can you see that? Our empowerment? You want empowerment? You do this. At least start with dancing. Don't sit in the back or stand like this. No. Release your hand. Just raise your hand. Dance. You know, seeing. This is, you'll see within you. And then also you preach. This is both Mahaprabhu. This is Mahaprabhu's own instruction. That if you do this, you will go back home. Very nice. So nice. Very nice. So, back to this. So, you have a physical body. You harmonize with the physical world. So, we do dance and chant. That's enough. You don't have to do like breathing exercise. Because otherwise you may disturb here. Yeah. It's okay, you can do it. But, you know, if you may feel pressure. But chanting can see you can do that. So this is fast. Then, by the body to the subtle body, you have to do something to connect and harmonize. So physical body to, everybody keeping track, physical body to the vital body. How you do it? Breathe is good, but better than that, chanting, chanting, natural. Thank you. And then vital body to the subtle body, mental body. How do you, what do you do? Contemplate. Reflect. What is he talking? This is connecting subtle body. Because mind and the air connecting when you're contemplating, they're like a, like crashing each other. And they will be remain healthy, safety. And if you don't contemplate, what is this? Uh, you don't have any clue. It's very important. Okay? Can we remain active? Because soul is active. 3.5, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, Mitta Chara Suchate. If you think you are inactive, you are a liar. Generally, Krishna doesn't say like they're a liar, like a bull, you know? I call bully God. Krishna is like a bully God. You don't believe it, you are a liar. <laughs> You 
Everyone is supposed to act helplessly according to the qualities he has acquired from the norms of material nature. Therefore, no one can break from you from doing something, not even for the purpose. Everybody understood? You cannot actually stop, even for a moment. Soul is eternally active. Say, please repeat after me. Soul, I, the soul, is eternally active. I, the soul, is eternally active. Krishna says this. You will see the next verse. And if you don't believe Krishna says, you are a liar. Not him. You, if you don't believe him. So we are active. Be active. But you've got a five body. What can you do? You know, we are in a prison. We've got a prison life. So, but we have to be remain active. In order to be active as a soul, you have to pass through all this there. Is that okay? Yes. Oh, no, you want to pass the... I forgot. Okay, good. I no, I mean, you will come back. I'm sorry, I don't yeah, mean like this. <laughs> you will come back. Just yeah, going to be tired of body. So, physical body to the vital body. Vital body to the subtle body. Subtle body connected to it. So, how do you connect subtle body with the soul? There's somebody in the, you know, even the subtle body, we say subtle body. But the sixth canto, first chapter, 51 verse, the subtle body also has, Bhagavatam, subtle body also has 16 elements. It's not physical body. I was like surprised. Like subtle body? Like in the dream, you see another Ramana going to Hyderabad, or I don't know where you go, uh, or somewhere in South India, and he's doing things. And when he wake up, he say, I went to Hyderabad. Your husband will say, are you crazy? You are really here. You didn't go to Hyderabad. But that's not true. You, you did both. Because, it, but when you went to Hyderabad, you had a physical body, looks like. You didn't go in a, like a I am subtle body. What is subtle body? There is no body. No. You have this. 6.50. 6. 6 Bhagavatam 6.1.51 or 52. Sometimes I don't remember. I know the verse as well. Oh, you found it? Yeah, it's one of the Kalam. My uh, microphone, you can say. The subtle body is endowed with 16 parts. The five not. Wait, what did he say? Subtle body is not just mind, policy, or energy. Subtle body is made of 16 elements. This is from Bhagavad Okay. The five knowledge acquiring senses, the five working senses, the five objects of sense gratification, and the mind. This subtle body is an effect of the three modes of material nature. It is composed of insurmounting, insurmounting but its strong desires. And therefore, it causes the living entity to transmigrate from one body to another in human life, animal life, and the life of the demigod. When the living entity gets the body of a demigod, he is certainly very jubilant. When he gets the body of a uh, human body, he is always in lamentation. And when he gets the body of an animal, he is always afraid. In all conditions, however, he is actually miserable. His miserable condition is called sanskriti or transmigration in material time. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I go off again. But point is that in your dream, <clears throat> you may be thirsty, you drink some water. You are active, that's good. You are drinking water. But when through consciousness you come to the physical body, I need water. But you drink water, it's not going to help. You follow? Because each body has their own function. And more you hear, you should be afraid. Oh my God, layer after layer, I'm buried under. Yes. This is what, that's why it's a complex, complex. So, physical body to the vital body, vital body to the subtle body, and subtle body also has the 16 elements. 
The subtle body, how do you connect to the soul? Through? Yeah, consciousness is connecting, but, but you have to take a media. Like physical to the vital exercise. Like dancing or physical exercise, whatever. And the vital to the uh, subtle, how do you do it? Contemplation. Contemplation. Contemplation, reflection. This is how mind will be like, yeah, what he's saying. I don't like what he's saying. I like what he's saying. You know, you go, <laughs> this is a mind. Like, give, give this. And this mind, okay, I will go off the whole series next session. But because I am focus here. So when you come to the mind, then you come to reality. Mind has a five functions, five states. And you, are, you be aware that you can automatically divert. You have that power. You don't have a power what you're going to see, but you have a power what to focus and which way to shift. Is that clear? Does that make sense? You don't have a power to control what is going on outside. You have a power to divert yourself this side. Don't look at that side. Is that clear? It's very easy. So you come to a temple. First is mudha. You see this here? Mudha, shipta, bhikshipta, ekagra. And what's the last word? I'm thinking how to move. I guess I can. Hold it. Hold it here. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Thank you. Okay, so Buddha, I think I will discuss this later in details. So, Muda is the consciousness state of mind when one is foolish, deluded, or in sleep. Like, for an example, I give you a practical example. I don't know, I'm sure it happened to you. One day, you could not fall asleep, middle of the night, you woke up and you sit down. What am I supposed to do? Oh, your mind what am I supposed to do? Middle of the night, you woke up. I want to go to go back to sleep, but I'm not sleeping. Did I go out? No. What am I supposed to do? You just don't know. Did you ever experience like this? Come on, be honest. Thank you. That's called Buddha. Your consciousness is in the mental platform, but within mental platform, there's a five layers. You don't know what to do. Like many things in life you will see. Then next is shipta, agitated. You go to temple, Sunday feast, you will see here also. Maybe you will be scared. That's good. If I can scare you, that uh, careful, your mind is dictating you. So you pay the obeisances. I did. I pay the obeisances. I see the devotee from Canada. Because I used to go to Vancouver, you know, I give classes online sometimes to them. Very nice community there. So that devotee is there. I'm thinking like the singer is singing. And I still remember it. But I'm hearing it, but I'm thinking, what did he become? Did he come here? With his family, or just because they hosted me, they invited me. You know, it's like I, I feel like a obligation. I want to reciprocate. Maybe they didn't tell me. Or now he's singing. Lord Chaitanya is on a golden throne, and Narahari is doing chamara. You know, Nitanda Prabhu is holding the umbrella. Am I hearing or not? Am I in the temple? Tell me. Yes and no. Physically, I am there. Consciously, I am not there. Even the singer is singing, author is there, but I am not there. Why? Because my consciousness is focusing on this state of mind called skipta. 
you can literally be away. I don't want to be there. I'm here in the temple. Let me take full pledge at Bunting. Okay, the singer is saying like this. Yes, Lord Chitra is sitting on it. Yes, I want to see this. Or if you don't see it, my Lord, please help me to see this wonderful song. Faida uthana chahiye. Faida means uh, profit. Take advantage. Take profit while you're chanting, whatever. Even sitting here. Take advantage of it. Don't let mind take you away. I know what he's talking. I was hearing one class here, there. And then you go went off for 10 minutes and then you realize, oh my God, Tarn Govinda Das said so many things. What did he say? Should I ask somebody or no? They will think like you are in your thing. You like go through like a swing, you know? <laughs> Please, don't swing. That's why part parts of Rupa Goswami Pad, what he said, Bacho Vega, what's the next word? I forgot. Oh, you all remember, good. Manasa, Bacho Vega Manasa. Speaking is important, but in the speaking, I won't talk much. Five things you have to do. Five things you must do from today. And maybe you all are doing already, but it's my habit to tell you. So, Bhagavad Gita 1715, can you say it? Uh, 1715. Just the first line, not the second line. Second line is for the reading. Uh, but uh, you have to be aware when you speak. Just develop that. You know, actually, I'm trying to develop and I see it works. You will have no enemy forever. You will have no against your bhakti. Anudbega karam bhakkam satyam priyam hitam chita. What is the translation? It's a austerity of speech consists in speaking words that are truthful, pleasing, beneficial, and not agitating to others, and also in regularly reciting reading the speech. So, five things you must do before you speak. No need to speak. First, you think. I want to speak to you. Okay. I want to speak. I'm talking to Pranagavi Das myself. I want to talk to her such a way how Krishna did not say tell the truth first. He says Anudbega. First word you see Anudbega. Say something will not agitate her. You know you were wrong other day. Oh my God. I didn't follow Krishna. You follow? We have to follow Krishna. Krishna says say such a way and when you say such a way that will not agitate. How are you? Is everything okay? Okay. You burn some that you care. Careful, what is the word careful means? Careful means you care for the person. If you care for the person, then you are careful. I want to tell her something that she needs to correct, but I have to tell her something that I have to express first, I care for her. So Krishna says, part to our Arud Bhaga. Do not agitate. So, is everything okay with you? Then she thinks, oh, it does feel he cares for me. Then I can say, when you speak, maybe you can do this. And again, end with a nice ending, good ending. I hope we can talk again or something like that. You follow? Like, like always beginning and end. Krishna is so genius. Krishna is like a, you know, when he meet him, he's uh, telling. You give a formula how to talk to others. It saved my life. Thank you for saving my life. Believe me, Krishna will love and happy. You say, okay, you followed my instruction. Good. So, Anudbhaiga karam bhaikam saptam priyam hitam chaja. Anudbhaiga karam bhaikam saptam. Then you speak the truth, like a sandwich. First good, then your correction, then sweet at the end. Beginning sweet and sweet in the middle of correction. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Today, in the breakfast session from 9 to 11, two hours. Just if everybody can do it, please tell me when you come back, just how did it work. But if you tell them already, oh, I'm going to practice, then they will think like, okay, it's like, okay. That will be a little artificial. <laughs> Don't tell the person. Yes. Microphone. Say something that's not agitating for others. 
I didn't say Krishna. Yeah. We are follower. Yeah. yeah. The thing is that what I've seen is uh, I always try to say something that is you know, nice to people and always make friends. But you know, there's one situation where when I nearly marry and then you know, people is like there's one devotee balance. So every time when she sees me, she'll ask me when I'm going to have kids, when I'm going to have kids, when how many kids you want. Every time she sees me, she only asks me this question for two years, years. Then one time I was so busy and I was so tired for all the crap at the time when I went to, and she kept behind me and she asked me, Where are you going to have kids? And then I just like stopped there. I just stopped there, stopped there, stopped there, and then. Oh, you, you know, told her that? Yeah, I don't know. And it just, it just come like that. And then I went back home and it was so bad. I to my husband and then she could say, Let's go in the phone back. And I said, Yeah, I'm going to do that. And then went back to the temple and find her. And then I went back. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. See, you are not the only one. The whole world is doing it. <laughs> Just like Bobby told me. You know, his son called and he's answering. You are you're such a stupid, you don't get it. And I'm listening, like in the nearby, I'm thinking, like, oh my God. You know what is the problem when you say something agitating? Krishna is so scientific. I tell you why. It blocks hearing perception. Ear is not hearing. Hearing just facilitating. Ear facilitate what to go in. Ear doesn't hear. The conscious being hears. But when you hear, if you if I say something bad to you, the rest of the talk is gone somewhere else. We are set in that way. It's like shut up. When Bobby told to his son, you are just stupid. And I say, oh my God, he turned off. And then he went on, then he went outside the room and he started talking after half an hour. And I proved it. I mentioned that story because it's a real story. He's in Gainesville. I told Bobby, do not ever speak to your son like this, please. Now what happened? I also told him something that will agitate him. He's not going to listen. No, I didn't do that. I said, Bobby, you're such a loving father. I would like to talk to you. Now his anger with the son, like mitigated a little bit. So I said, would you mind of coming inside? So I spoke to him. And I said, I want to prove you what you just did. It did not work. How are you going to prove it, Gobi? I said, if you allow me. You are kind to me. You are good. He's, he's a, you know, uh, people, uh, you know, the prince, the company named Prince, they take money from bank to bank or ATM. ATM, to, yeah. Oh, ATM. 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 Yeah. ATM. He, he drives like a money truck. Uh, but he also loved jewelry. That's how I you know, had a shop. So I was like, that. I became a friend. I, I still communicate. He's chatting. Not full 16, but a few rounds. He's a big guy. <laughs> but he's a nice guy. He's, he's at least, he, his wife is very nice to me. She said, he is reading, just to let you know, he's reading Bhagavad Gita. At least he even forced me to read with him. So just to let you know, I said, thank you. You make me happy. That's very nice. So anyhow, so Bobby was sitting, I'm just going to the fact. Bobby was sitting inside uh, the room where a curtain nobody seen. I called his son because they live nearby. His son came. He's 18 years. I have a good relationship with him because this is not his mother, his wife, his stepmother, where he was. So I became a, like a good friend with him. So I said, you know, I I was very happy to see that your father cares for you. And the uh, other day, uh, he mentioned he told you so many things, right? And I was curious, what did he say? That Can you share with me? Like, I want to learn also. 
What I expected, that's exactly what happened. He said he was angry and he was just yelling to me. So I'm so sorry that uh, you felt that way. Uh, anything else? He said, no, he was just angry for half an hour. And his father is listening behind the curtain. And after, anyway, I gave him farewell. I said, I have a nice cupcake from the temple. So I gave him a shot. Oh, I said, well, thank you, so nice. And then he went by. I said, if you ever want to talk, you can come back and talk to me. But text me first before, because I may be busy. I don't want to disappoint you. But I went back to inside and I said, asked Bobby, what is He's wrong. I said him so many things. I said, Bobby, you're going back to the same thing. What did we discuss? You accuse someone. What happened? When you accuse someone? No, you block their hearing perception. Literally. You can say so many things important, but then you hear, they only read your face and anger. This is so beautiful art. Bhagavad Gita is a science how to live a wonderful life. 6.17, it tells you how to eat, how to ahara, vihara, like how to balance, organize life. Bhagavad Gita is a practical for you. It is not just a philosophy, but it is practical. But of course, we have to present it in a way that people can. Otherwise, they just pass through, they will not get it. Guess what? We have only 20 minutes to finish that. So I'm not going to talk about the mind anymore. I'll just go to the bars. Because 9 o'clock will be there. We didn't finish one bus. Is that okay? Everybody is okay? Mother She's yeah, like... I just, I just, okay, go ahead. Okay, so the Satan to the soul connection, how does that happen? And then what is the fixed one? How do they yeah. connect? With We're not going there. We'll come back to the second session. Okay. That'll be good. You'll have a dream. You have to remind me, okay? Okay. Who is going to start reading? Oh, we're going to read the whole thing. Uh, let me go back. So how do we go back uh, to the... We're going to recite the verse. You have the book. Let's recite the verse. Bacho begam anasa krodha begam Chipa begam mudara upasta begam Etan vedan ja vishayate dhira sarvahama vimam priti vin No, that's not what we are looking for. We are setting the vows. No, we are not doing that. It's not a little bit. You have it on. Leave it, leave it, leave it. It's okay. It's correct. We are not seeing anything. You don't see anything? It's disconnected. It's a display. Again, it's not a display. Mans, <laughs> <laughs> Nāprākṛta-tami-bhakta-janāśya-pasye-karam-nāśa-nāpari-dūdhu-bhūdhe-nāpanke Brahmā-dhavātta-mapagat-shati-yadhārme Jatrishanāpata-dhipāna-shita-papita 
जनानुगामी गोवर्धन राधाकुंदते प्रेम प्लावन विमुक्त भक्ति परम पशुपाल पंकज मुनिस्तायुनर्भक्ति पाचो बेगा मनसा क्रोध बेगम जीपा बेगम उदर उपस्थ बेगम एतान बेगान जो विषयत धीरा सर्वाम अभिमान प्रतिदिन सशिष्ट अत्ताहार प्रयासस्य प्राजल्प नियमाग्रह जनसंगस्य लोलंच सर्वी भक्ति विनश्यति उत्साह निश्चय कर्म प्रवर्तन भक्ति प्रसिद्धतीजयते If I could not memorize, I cannot ask you to memorize. I can tell you, but it don't work. So because I memorize also, I need it. You think six? Yeah. The you think six are the urges I have to control? Six bad or destroying elements. Six will push me or make me success in bhakti. Six will destroy. Six will make me success. How do I do this all three through the reciprocation of six way, and this is very beautiful. If you just think like this, and this is how I do it. And then five, six is about holy name. Seven, eight, ultimate conclusion. Upadesha saram tanamaru em. So this is how I do it. So let's go back to this. Who is going to start reading? Go ahead, Ma. Submission, relation, offering gifts and charity, accepting charitable gifts, revealing. No, no. Oh, we are on four. That's right. That's right. Thank you. How's the? Revealing one's mind and confidence, inquiring uh, confidentially, accepting the sadhan and offering the sadhan are the six symbols of love shared by one devotee and another. In this verse, Sri Narayana Goswami explains how to uh, perform devotional activities in the association of other devotees. There are six kinds of activities: giving charity to the devotees, accepting from devotees whatever they offer in return, 
opening one's mind to devotees, inquiring from them about the confidential service of the Lord. Number five, honoring the sadhana for the spiritual food given by the devotees. And number six, feeding the devotees with prasad. An experienced devotee uh, explains, and an inexperienced devotee learns from him. This is for Rukhyam Akhyati Prichin. When a devotee distributes prasadam, reverence of the food offered to the Supreme Person to the Godhead in order to maintain our maintain our spirit of devotional service, we will tackle this prasadam as the Lord's way, uh, way is it from the pure devotees. We can also invite pure devotees to our home, offer them prasadam, and be prepared to please them in all respects. This is called Bhumke Bodhi Shaiva. Do you mind if I read the questions? Sure. Sure. Read the sure. Okay, the closed book starts answer question for the explorings. Define Duidam Archer Number two, how should one spend this income? Number three, what is the meaning of so one question again. Guiyam Aikati Pichati. Guiyam means secret, confidential. Aikati means express. Pichati as as. Very good. The confidential discussion between you and your mentor. Your realization, not politics only. It's like a realization. What you understand, what you want to understand, or what you're going through tough time, like not other to know, but you reveal. And you hear also the realization of from them and how to. So this is very nice. Why I'm giving little so you will find the answer. Don't ask where, where is the answer. You can hear it. Second question is, how should one spend his income? How one should spend his income? We are not talking about Dao John Guru. Dao John Industry, the stock market guru. They tell you also how to spend. We are talking about spiritual life. Who exhibited this? Prabhupada did not say follow his family lifestyle. Prabhupada didn't say that. So we follow what they want us to say. Rupa Goswami Path is the best example. And how did he do it? He divided into three, three parts. His entire asset divided into how many parts? Three, three parts. One part, 50%. Now if you like uh, Purna Chandra Prabhu, his, his family, his, his life, everything with his wife, Krishna consciousness. For him, is like 100%. You follow? But if you are living outside, then 50% try to engage in Krishna consciousness. But if you are in the temple, you don't have to worry. That is not applicable because you are already 100% doing it. You know, like him, his family. So don't worry, it is not really applicable. Everybody understand that concept? It's very simple. Then 25%, 25%, you have a affection for your mother, father, children, or whatever. For their emergency, you keep it. 25%. It really means like that. And then 25%, there is always emergency. I mean, I hope there is no emergency, but it comes. And you should have that excess money. Does that make sense? Okay, that's all. So while we are reading, please catch those answers and you write your own answers. Okay, go ahead. Even in ordinary social activities, these six types of dealings between two loving friends are absolutely necessary. For instance, when one businessman wishes to contact another businessman, he arranges a fist in a hotel and over the fist, openly expresses what he wishes to do. He then inquires from his business friend how we should act, and sometimes presents are exchanged. Thus, whenever there is a dealing of pretty or love in intimate dealings, these six activities are executed. 
In the previous words, Sri Rupa Goswami advised that one should renounce worldly association and keep company with devotees. Sangha Tyaga Sakodhikya. The International Society of Christian Consciousness has been established to facilitate these six kinds of loving exchanges between devotees. This society was started single handedly, but because people are coming forward and dealing with the give and take policy, the society is now expanding all over the world. We are glad that people are donating very liberally to the development of the society's activities, and people are also eagerly accepting whatever humble contribution we are giving them in the shape of books and magazines, dealing strictly with the subject matter of Krishna consciousness. We sometimes hold Hare Krishna festivals and invite life members and friends to participate in a feasting, in the feasting by accepting prasad. Although most of our members come from the higher end of society, they nonetheless come and take whatever is the prasad we are able to offer there. Sometimes the members and supporters inquire very confidentially about the methods of performing devotional service, and we try to explain this. In this way, our society is successfully spreading all over the world, and the intelligentsia of all the countries of all countries is gradually appreciating our Krishna conscious activities. The life of the Krishna conscious society is nourished by the six types of loving exchanges of the members. Therefore, people must give the chance to associate uh, with the devotion of this one because simply by reciprocating in six ways mentioned about. An ordinary man can fully revive his dormant fish consciousness. In Bhagavad Gita 2.62, it is stated, Sangat Sanjayate Kama. Once designs and ambitions develop according to the company one keeps, it is often said that a man is known by his company. And if an ordinary man associated with devotee, he will certainly develop his dormant fish consciousness. The understanding of Krishna consciousness is innate in every living entity. And it is already developed to some extent when the living entity takes a human body. It is said in Chaitanya's example, Matthew 23.17. Nitya Siddha Krishna Prema Sadhya Bhunai, Sravana Disuddha Nitya. Pure love for Krishna is eternally established in the hearts of living entities. It is not something to be gained from another source. When the heart is purified by hearing and chanting, the living entity is naturally of us. Since Krishna consciousness is inherent, in every living entity, everyone should be given a chance to hear about Krishna. Simply by hearing, chanting, Sravanam Kirtanam, one's heart is directly purified, and one's original Krishna consciousness is immediately awakened. Krishna consciousness is not artificially imposed upon the heart, it is already there. When one chants the original Supreme Person in Godhead, the heart is cleansed of all the uh, contamination. The first time God is the three start comes to the Kirtanam after the says. Manama Janam Bhava Mahadava Bhavanam Shriya Parita Vachandi Ananda Uti Vardhana Pratipanam Sarvatma Samanam Parati Oh, glory to the Sri Krishna Sankirtan, which cleanses the heart of all the dust of the place of the years and extinguishes the fire and condition of heaven to make it perfect. The Sankirtan movement is the fine benediction of the humanity of life because it spreads the rays of the foundation room. It is the life of all transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and it enables us to fully feel connected to which we are always conscious. Not only is the chanter of the Mahamantra purified, but the heart of anyone who happens to hear the chanter of the vibration of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, also things. Even the souls embodied in lower animals and sex trees and other species of life also become purified. And prepare to become fully Krishna conscious simply by hearing the transcendental vibration. This will explain by Thakur Devas and Vas when Chitanya Mahaprabhu inquired from him how living entities lower than human beings can be delivered from the living bodies. Haridas Thakur said that the chanting of the holy name is so powerful 
Now, even if one drags the remotest parts of the jungle, the trees and animals will advance the Krishna consciousness simply by hearing the vibration. This was actually proved by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself when he passed through the forest of Chariva. At that time, the tigers, snakes, deer, and all other animals abandoned their natural animosity and began chanting and dancing in Sandhya. Of course, we cannot imitate the activities of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but we should follow in his footsteps. We are not powerful enough to enchant the lower animals such as tigers, snakes, cats, and dogs, or entice them to dance. But by chanting the holy name to the Lord, we can actually convert many people throughout the world to Krishna consciousness. Contributing or distributing the holy name to the Lord is a sublime example of contributing and giving charity to the Dharma principle. By the same token, one must also follow the Pratikrinati principle and be willing and ready to receive the transcendental gift. One should inquire about the Krishna consciousness movement and open his mind in order to understand the situation of this material world. Thus, the Guyan Akyatu principle can be so. The members of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness invite the society members and supporters to dine with them and take a blood of peace in all their branches every Sunday. Many interested people come to honor the Sodom, and whenever they invite members of the society to their homes, they give them some chance to live to In this way, both the members of the society and the general public are benefit. People should be able to pick up this company of so called yogis, yamis, sardines, and philanthropists because their association can benefit them. If one really wants to attain the goal of human life, he should associate with the devotees and the Christian consciousness movement because the only movement that teaches on how to develop the life of God. Religion is a special function of human society, and it constitutes the distinction between human society and animal society. Animal society has no church, mosque, or religious system. In all parts of the world, however downtrodden human society may be, there is some system of religion. Even tribal aborigines in the jungles also have a system of religion. When a religious system develops and turns into the love of God, it is successful. As stated in the first time of Kina Bhagavatam 1.2.6, you can't learn to stop, but of love, and then when you have to go back to the book, she did, and then you can hear, but you can hear, and then you can hear, and then you can hear, and then you can hear. It's a free occupation, Dharma, the old humanity is that by which men can attain to loving devotional service and to the transcendent glory. Such devotional service must be unworthy and uninterrupted in order to completely satisfy itself. If the members of human society actually want peace of mind, tranquility, and friendly relations between men and between nations, they must follow the Krishna conscious system of religion by which they can develop their glory and love for Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. As soon as people do so, their minds will immediately be filled with peace and tranquility. In this regard, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta said by the top four, four involved in the audience in broadcasting the Krishna consciousness movement, not to speak to the impersonal life, the higher bodies. So are all the determined to impose such theistic movement. The world is full of my bodies and atheists. The fan of political parties of the world take advantage of Maya Bhaya, of Maya Bhaya, and other atheistic philosophies to promote materialism. Sometimes they even back a strong party with other sufficient consciousness movement. The Maya bodies and other atheists do not want the Krishna consciousness movement to develop because it indicates the that consciousness, such as the policy of the atheists. There is no benefit in eating a snake and other bananas because the snake will never be satisfied. <laughs> On the contrary, by eating milk and bananas, the snake simply becomes more poisonous. If a snake is given milk to drink, his poison simply increases. For a similar reason, we should not disclose our minds to the strength of my bodies and audience. Such disclosure will never help. It is best to completely avoid such 
completely avoid associating with them. And never asking about anything confidential because they cannot make good advice. Forcefully extend invitations to my advisors to make lists or accept their invitations. By such intimate intermingling, we may become affected by their interests and mentality. Some that some die they would come out of. It is the negative injunction of this verse that we should refrain from giving anything. For accepting anything from the Maya Bhagavad and Victims. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has also written Nisha Gira, Anna Kaila, Dustahaya Mana, Ahaya Mana. When one eats food prepared by worldly people, one, one's mind becomes different. Unless one is very advanced, he is unable to utilize everyone's contribution. The further in Krishna consciousness needs it. Therefore, on principle, one should not accept charity from the minor bodies or atheists. Indeed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has forgiven the devotees to associate even with ordinary men who are too addicted to material sense gratification. The conclusion is that we should always be company with the devotees. <coughs> Observe the limited relational principles, follow the footsteps of the Acharyas, and in full obedience, carry out the orders of the spiritual master. In this way, we shall be able to develop our devotional service and government Krishna consciousness. The devotee who is neither a neophyte nor a Mahabharata, a greatly advanced devotee, but is within the Middle status of devotional service is expected to love the Supreme Person, therefore, make friends with the devotees, show favor to the ignorant, and reject the jealous and demonic. In this verse, there is a brief mention of the process of making loving conversions with the Supreme Person, your God, and making friends with the devotees. According to the Badati principle, an advanced devotee is supposed to spend at least 50% of his income on the service of the Lord and his devotees. The Rupa Goswami has set such an example in his life. When he decided to retire, he distributed 50% of his life's earnings to Krishna's service and 25% to his relatives and kept 25% for personal emergencies. This example should be followed by all the devotees. In whatever one's income, fifty percent should be spent on behalf of Krishna and his devotees, and this will fulfill the demands of the land. In the next verse, Sri Narayana Goswami informs us what kind of Vaishnava should be connected and friend, and how Vaishnava should be served. This is so nice. It is wonderful. So it's already 9.05. I have a presentation of Giriraj Maharaj on this local from Prabhupada experience. So we'll do that when we come back and then we'll start happening. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would also appreciate if you can learn these four or five verses. You can put your own recording, put it in the WhatsApp group. The other can learn also. It's all always encouraging. Huh? Okay, you can tell. That's good. Absolutely, that's good. Please find it. say the last one. There was like one uh, last from the last connection to add to it after. Oh, actually, he wants to remind you because they are hungry. You want them to start? Oh, she doesn't want anybody to start. Puna Chandra Prabhu is supplying so nice prasadam. We should give him thanks. Puna Chandra Prabhu ki yeah. Very nice prasadam. But you are exhibiting that. So this is wonderful. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Shlabhrupa.